Okay, so here we have the Ford Ranger on a 21 plate. I'm gonna start off by showing you the storage in the rear of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside from there. As we approach the back of the car, you can see that we've got plenty of space in the rear here. This top roller section will also open, of course, to give you even more space again. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're gonna start with the dials. In the middle, we have the speedometer beneath that. Uh, we have the gear that the car is in. So it's an automatic, we're in park at the moment. Over on the right hand side, uh, we have the fuel gauge and the trip computer, which includes the total mass of the car. They are 10,667. And over on the left hand side, at the moment, it's showing you what radio station you're listening to, but you can change that information for your navigation or phone info, should you wish to. All of the buttons to do that are here for the left hand side and here for that right hand side. Uh, also over on the right hand side, just here, we have cruise control. Uh, we have stereo and phone controls on the left hand side. The stereo itself is over in the middle. So this is all touch screen. Uh, so from on here, you can access your music, of course. And you'll see that we have got uh, AM, FM and DAB radio, a CD player, Bluetooth audio as well. And there are two separate USB inputs uh, on this car. If you plug devices into those, they will appear up here uh, as further options for you. Uh, we can come back out to the home screen from here. Uh, this is where you pair up your phone. Hit add phone. Search for your vehicle or your device and select it once it is found. Uh, and then just follow the instructions on screen from there. Uh, again, we can come back out to the home screen and access our satellite navigation. Uh, there's a full video showing how this sat-nav system works, which you can find on our website and on our YouTube channel as well. Beneath that, you can see you've got a few other options, one of which we've not gone through, and that's the climate control. Uh, so you can adjust the climate control from on here. Uh, you can adjust the passenger temperature, the driver temperature, you can uh, increase, decrease the fan speed as well, or all of the controls for that are also down here. Any adjustment you make will of course show on the screen as you make it, but passenger, driver temperature, fan speed just there, air conditioning off or back on again. You can hit auto, the car will now maintain, as you can hear it doing, it will maintain the temperatures you've asked for by taking control of the fan speed for you, or you can override that as I've just done at any time. Uh, we've got a heated front screen just here, heated rear screen, heated driver seat with three different heat settings and the same for the passenger side. We have two 12 volt charging sockets, the two USB inputs I mentioned. And then down here, we can turn off the stop and start, the parking sensors, downhill brake control. We can lock the differential for the vehicle. We've got controls for two and four wheel drive as well. And then the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox. The plus and minus button on the side here will enable you to change up and down a gear manually should you wish to do that. All that leads me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.